Suppose you checked your inbox tomorrow morning and you get this email. Dear Peter, I've been selling annuities for 20 years. I'm totally bored. I came to this town to be a screenwriter. I want to quit my job tomorrow and I have this great script idea. Happens all the time. In fact, one of my interns right now is a multimillionaire. <laughs> He's from another country. He just came here three months ago because he said, what do I want to do with the rest of my life? I've got all the money I want. I want to learn how to tell a Hollywood story. Happens all the time. I say, welcome. Come on. Here's how it's done. Here's the form. I have people from big law firms in New York all the time going, I'm sick of being a lawyer. I want to come out there. And, and, and how do I do it? Because everybody who has a passion to tell a story um, can wind up here. This is what makes Hollywood what it is. We're losing physical production in this state because the political structure is so stupid. But the intellectual brain trust of story here in, in LA is amazing. You come out here still, this is still the land of opportunities. If you want to tell a story, look, we make almost 80% of every dollar that is sold in entertainment in the world today. Why? Why does Hollywood make 80 cents of every dollar sold of filmed entertainment in the world today. Why? I'll tell you why. Because we tell the story of a wounded hero with a chance to change. They don't do it in Europe. In France, you know, you live, you die, your life's over, boom, you bully your brains out. Daddy's out. We pee in an alley, we are dead. But in America, we still believe in this hero's journey, this wounded hero who can redeem himself by going somewhere else. And that's why we sell all over the world. That's why they don't love us. They don't love America. God knows they don't. They love our stories. And that's because we understand this myth that is every culture of the world. That guy standing out on his deck when he's 16 and going, I got to get out of here. I got to go somewhere and be something different. That's what we celebrate. That's why we're still powerful. That's why our stories sell. So come here, come to LA. This is the place to be. I mean, it's, it's cool, why not? I came here, that's what I did. It's still that opportunity for people. And if they're not a millionaire, have a good savings? Most of my other interns aren't millionaires at all. They're, <laughs> they're people working other jobs and, and they just wanna learn stories. So yeah, I mean, you don't have to come here physically, but you do have to learn what Hollywood does, however that is. And luckily, you can just watch a lot of movies. And you can just see how it's done. Watch the people you love. Watch the movie over. I'm no smarter than you about movies. All I did is get obsessed. I'll watch a movie 40 times. And at the end of that 40 times, I guarantee you, if you do that, you're going to be a genius. You're going to say, look what he does here. Look what he does here. You know, at how movies work, one of the things I do is I have movie nights where I just say, hey, you love Pulp Fiction? I'll come in. Come on in. We'll view the movie together. I stop it whenever I want. And I say, look what he does here. Look how he does it. Look how he puts ticking clocks in every scene. Look how we got the hero's journey. Look how Jules is the hero. He's an Old Testament hero. Look, the bullets missed him. It's a miracle. And everybody learns by the end of the movie how Tarantino did it. That's how Tarantino learned. He was a kid sitting at home watching movies obsessively. This is how you learn. You're not a genius, you just are obsessed.